we're going to implement a single sign-on feature into Spring Boot application using Okta authentication provider. Uh, the reason I'm creating this dem demo is uh, there are many outdated uh, manuals uh, and tutorials uh, in the web and uh, it took me several hours to figure out uh, what information is actual and what information is uh, outdated so I hope it may save uh, some hours for you so let's go okay we need uh, the official documentation from Okta uh, there are a lot of options and uh, let's uh, start with quick start and uh, here we need first we need to set up Okta definitely and uh, then uh, we need to integrate it into the application uh, so let's start with Okta first okay so we are logged in and uh, we go to the applications and uh, applications and we need to create application integration uh, here we select the open idea connect uh, token based OAuth2 authentication and uh, application type web application and uh, all the settings we we may leave as is uh, except uh, we have error except uh, last section assignments for now we allow everyone in your organization to access application is created and uh, we are okay to continue so from these steps uh, we finished configura configuration of uh, Okta application and uh, now we're going to create uh, our Spring Boot web application. Uh, so from Spring Initializer, we need uh, to select uh, Web and Okta dependencies. So we go there. Dependencies Web. This one and uh, Okta and uh, for today December 22 uh, Okta doesn't support uh, Spring Boot version 3 so we need to decrease our version 276 and uh, Okta yeah now we are ok uh, we could uh, select uh, Maven or Gradle it doesn't matter and uh, we create this application open this application unzip and uh, let's open this application here uh, so let's see yes it's just simple application and uh, manual add packages yes uh, configure application uh, so they suggest uh, to use uh, environment variables uh, to configure the parameters like issuer mm, client ID and client secret mm, but for simplicity for this dem demo I'm going to configure these parameters from application properties and uh, the the parameters uh, let's see application properties okay let's go there uh, yeah yeah so we need to configure these properties uh, the 
issuer we could copy and the value uh, the authentication server URL looks like this one C. and uh, we may found find uh, this information from the uh, Okta mm, uh, under security and API section um, this is our URL control copy uh, next parameter client ID this is client ID of Okta application uh, we go to applications and uh, this is the application we are used copy client ID and paste uh, next one client secret control C and the value is again from Okta application here client secret section and we copy this secret okay next uh, next we need to create a controller uh, for simplicity we could uh, just implement the API the endpoint uh, into this uh, demo demo class so let's copy and demo application and paste and uh, this is uh, the rest controller import missing dependencies and I want to get all information from our login in principle and let's see now let's run this application okay and it says bad request the redirect URI parameter must be login redirect URI and what does mean this error mm, it's meaning this parameter is different from the value expected in the Okta application uh, I will show you what I mean so if we if we check the Yes, the redirect URI, this value. So we pass this value to the Okta application. Let's copy. Uh, but uh, the value Okta expecting from us, redirect URI, is this one. So there are two options. We could change this value to the value we sent from our application uh, just copy and click edit and uh, replace this value uh, like that or we could pass this value from our web application uh, using this redirect URI control C like that uh, let's restart our application and uh, try again redirect URI 
Uh -huh, sorry. Uh, sorry, there is error in my configuration. Okay, what's now? Ah, I see. Yes, I know. Uh, let's check what do we send now. Yeah, you see it append this prefix to the value we configured. Uh, so we need to cut off first part. Uh, like that. Restart. And here we go. Uh, Okta ask for the credentials. And uh, there is error. And uh, what is wrong? Aha. Uh -huh. mm. We didn't. Uh, we didn't specify the root endpoint. Uh, so complaints yeah I should restart my application yes this time it is authorized and the uh, credentials like that the principal name grant authorities role user scope email and so on and the name and the given name and uh, other parameters here uh, yeah, and it works and uh, as I said uh, other way to fix that issue is just to put this value this is default from Spring Boot web application we could set this value to here to the application the redirect URI and uh, this is it